yeah welcome to my channel um my name is lena i'm from denmark and it's super cold today and i am so tired <laughs> i'm on the on the edge of either go in and take a nap or just pull myself together and stay awake for the next couple of hours before i need to prep dinner and um, simply stay awake by recording something <laughs> so but um, the last couple of days I have been uh, painting portraits and I really liked it a lot. I incorporated the Julietta Clark style to this portrait right here where, you know, all kinds of splatters and kind of celestial backgroundish color. And I especially like this area down here with this butterfly and this one kind of melting into the what could we call the paper <laughs> and that her dress or her it's like a see-through item I mean yeah it was very likable I actually have it recorded where I am painting this but it turned out to be like one hour where I'm not really talking or anything so uh, let me know if I should upload that or not the reason why I didn't upload it was because I was not really fun you know that day so uh, yeah it might be a little bit tedious to watch um, the recent upload from Lindsay the frugal crafter was a portrait of this uh, young man here she made him in her sketchbook and then uh, she wanted to redo it by using some graph crayons graph what was it oh gosh i keep forgetting the name but it's like um like a pastel like country crayons um wow the name escapes me but <laughs> you know what i'm just gonna link her stream to the description of this upload so you can go check it out because uh, yeah it was a, it was a special stream where she first has painted this portrait in her sketchbook and then she wanted to redo it using these Taylor art chalk graphite sticks or what it was <laughs> but I was painting along with her and um, this is my um, drawing and then because you know it was a sped up paint so I rewatched it a couple of times while jumping in it and then the last time before I was almost finished I watched her stream from the beginning once again and then she mentioned that she had attached the reference photo to her YouTube upload and I was like oh my god really and then sure enough when you click in the description you can see that she took a picture from Unsplash and uh, inserted the link to it. I don't know if I'm going to get into trouble by showing it, but I immediately printed out that reference photo. This is the reference photo. Look how different it is. I mean, <laughs> it's so different from what I had pictured in my head. So, of course, now I want to redo it because, yeah, because, yeah, it's just... Um, there's so many things that I want to change, like his head is, is too skinny, look at his skinny neck, uh, his head is too uh, tall, and there's a lot of, the, the, the colors also intrigues me. I thought that I was going like suitable with the skin tone here, but now when I look at the reference picture, wow, it's a total different skin tone. Uh, I used my new colors for this one. So now, of course, I want to paint him one more time and then do like Lindsay did using the country crayons. So I picked out my selection of country crayons. They are here. I hope that I got enough uh, crayons to be able to draw this <laughs> beautiful skin tone. Um, I try to sketch it out. And this time, you know, I got, I think, a better proportion compared to this one. Like, I took accountants for his head is not that tall. Um, yeah, so, but I, I, I need to fix. There's a, still something with the eyes. They are not, like, like really straight. 
but yeah you know it's it's a fiddling word work work I just uh, blocked him in with my uh, create a color oil pencil it's uh, extra soft it's called it's like like a, a generic color pencil but with oil oil color pencil oil based pencil <laughs> And, and what I'm doing is that I slant it and then I just uh, very gently put in uh, the colors like this. But now I feel that I am ready to go in with the contour crayon layer. Oh, I got something off up here with this eyebrow. Can you see that? What I do is that I try, when it's in this sketch stadia, I try to correct it. So that when I start with the contour crayon, I am sure about my line work because um, I can very easily get thrown off. I think I like that this eye is like more, now they're more even. Can you see that? I can't really tell where his um, pupils are, like on this one. I selected to actually do pupils and then uh, as you can see I'm gonna get into trouble because I don't want to paint like totally dark eyes I think a lot of soul is in the expression of the eyes so I may have to do like a, like I did on this one where I kind of make a darker center and then uh, some reflection I think I'll do that Doo -doo -doo. yeah but what <laughs> I'm looking at the skin tone oh my god can you see how uh, like like it almost got this purple bluish undertone here a little bit green here and of course it's got like red undertones but um, I think it's very interesting also like a greenish hue here so I'm thinking since I don't have the green contact crayons what if I take it's still in the you could say the graphite pastel range of material I got these uh, graphite blocks from Durban and I actually think that I can get away using the sage green for this uh, skin tone if I can take one up can you see how there is this greenish like this greenish undertone here and of course uh, there is some sort of purple bluish tone here and then there is a dark sepia and then um, a little bit lighter sepia color okay I have to uh, sit and and touch these things a little bit <laughs> before I start but anyway this is new to me I have to admit that it's very rare that I have uh, created such a, a dark skin tone so I am totally intrigued uh, this is uh, I can't wait to start <laughs> it's going to be something new for a change instead of those pale white skin tones so yeah okay <laughs> I think uh, I'm a little bit off with the lips actually it's like my lips are lower a little bit I need to put them up a little bit higher I think it's like the distance from his um, cubic bow the nose tip and the upper upper lip is too big on my drawing and then the under lip mine is too wide <laughs> mine stops down here so I somehow need to make it like uh, 
and his is like totally like straight can you see that instead of like like a curve I made mine curvy so uh, if I do like this yeah enough about the fiddling I think I need to just get on with it and then start putting in the, um, the colors these are water soluble these sticks so I think I think I'm simply just gonna wet a brush and then start blocking in some of the undertones for the skin tone especially you know with the part where I'm pretty sure that I see this greenish undertone and the good thing about the um, create a color oil uh, pencils is that they are not water soluble so I feel confident about y using a, a wash you could call it <laughs> on top of the of the pencil work like here I see the greenish here I see a little bit on the end of the eye here but yeah this is going to be like a long tedious painting session but I think some of you guys actually like those can you call it like live art um, painting sessions so in case you want to see like a sped up version of this um, portrait right here you can go to Lindsay the Frugal Crafter and I have um, attached her link in the description of this video and this picture that I'm using this reference photo she also got a link for that so you can um, click on that and see it on high resolution on your own screen what a treat to get the reference photo I'm not even sure if I'm getting into trouble using it like this in my on my stream but you know what? <laughs> I'm like the smallest channel ever I only get like 40 views or something on my <laughs> on my videos so um, chances are that nobody is going to to notice that I have this reference photo out on my desk <laughs> I see blue undertone in his hair on one side and then I see a lot of sage on this side and it is like a very light 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 coat that I'm using And then I'm totally quiet. <laughs> it's just um, now I'm totally concentrating. So I think you speak with your one side of the brain and then you do art with the other side of the brain. So in this uh, situation, both parts of the brains are just. <laughs> shutting up because this is a uh, con I'm concentrating could that be no that's it's more like believe it or not but it seems to be like a pinkish hue this one here and this is more like a grayish hmm I think it is super super interesting to paint this skin tone I can't believe that I refrain from trying this out so much I mean it has scared me a little bit um, because 
it's just uh, seems to be like a higher level of technique or something to uh, paint this skin tone for, for me at least so it's just so easy when I want to make a face a portrait to jump into that white Caucasian skin tone because I got more practice with that so uh, it just comes more fluently when I have to pick out colors and I've done it so much so I I kind of find it like um, like a safe safe drawing if you know what I mean so picking this skin tone is uh, exciting because it is a place where I need to think you know <laughs> I need to really analyze what kind of tones and undertones that I think I see okay yeah I like that I wonder if my country crayons can be dissolved with water should we try because you see I definitely think that I see this stick right here used here if we're really lucky water will set it so that I don't need to all crazy with the fixative spray hmm not sure I like it let's try and wait for it to dry up and see what it what happens I think I just invented a thing so when you have erased there is this sweeper of all the erasing crumbs <laughs> and if you touch her ooh, then it lifts up oh man she is totally camping on top of my art supplies <laughs> and my drawing <laughs> oh man cats I think uh, I think I need to go feed her or something Ah, nope, <laughs> I cannot set my contour crayons with water. It's just gonna, first of all, ruin the paper and then the pigment is just getting almost transparent, like, like ruined, you know? So, hmm. Let me just put this back in here. But it's okay. It was worth the try, right? Imagine if I could, then <laughs> then I would have like a extra value of these sticks. I'm not so good at using these sticks, and it's kind of surprising because they're like really like grab and go. So it's very easy to um, sketch with them. And they don't take up that much space on your desk so you could actually easily have them just lying on your desk for grab and go because as we all know out of eye out of sight so as soon as something disappears into a drawer or a container we forget about even having them in our stash I got reddish undertone on the nose I'm just gonna test out this um, stick right here to see how much red it will uh, deposit on the page I think I'm using the completely wrong piece of uh, substrate for this drill here I should have gone for a pastel paper <laughs> instead I am on copy printer paper I'm just gonna smear it. I want to see how red it is. Hmm. 
it's like sanguine red um, hmm I wish that I had a different uh, different stick but I'll just have to make this work I'm going to get issues with the lips because the lips actually have some red in them so I'm simply just going to take a red watercolor pencil Oops. And I think I will go a little bit purple on the upper lips. Okay, let's put in the darks. What is the darkest? It's this one and it's not like super dark. Let's test it here on the nose brim. No. I think I may need to uh, top coat this with some sort of a black stick to get uh, this tinted a little bit darker still without you know going full mess tone on the stick okay I'm curious <laughs> I need to see um, how I'm gonna do this this drill here so if I go in with a little bit black on the top here and start blending it out how will it actually look I know I should grab a cotillion pen to blend with but sometimes the tool that's next to your fingertips is <laughs> what I'm grabbing for and in this case it's my fingers could be a little bit more elegant done here feel that it's a little bit intimidating to um, go in so dark you know from the get-go but also uh, a nice challenge black 
I like the scratchy scratchy sound from the sticks. Um, and then I got some dark on my fingers. So I think I'm gonna put it here. Okay, I'm just gonna go all in with the the dark tones. It is such a cool thing to have the reference photo so close to me. When I usually do like uh, portraits, I find a picture on, let's say, just Pinterest or something. And then I have to look up on my screen. And here it's just so convenient to have it printed out. It's definitely not going to be the last time that I'm going to print out a reference photo and work like that. And I guess that there are a lot of people out there <laughs> who are doing it the right way, you know, like printing out the reference photo and they're like, Lena, I can't believe that you are <laughs> first talking about that now. Like, they have been uh, working like this for a long time, you know, with printed out pictures that they can refer to. I'm just going to knock this dust off in my in my bin next to me. Wow, it looks really scary. <laughs> it looks really scary at this moment. Oh, but uh, we're going to get there. Take it easy. We got some uh, really really uh what's it called? Oh, I know the Danish word for it. Carved out cheekbones here. I think it's called that. I'm not even sure that my underpainting with the greenish is showing through. So maybe if I... Uh, I'm a little bit light-handed with the blending here. I can still get some sort of the green tones to pop. Over here is a different color, but it's kind of darkish here. I think I got issues uh, with um, a mouth that's not even. So to help me visualize that, I'm just going to use some of the white here. some dark values up here I 
almost got this charcoal undertone to it Okay, and then we actually have a very warm like an, an ochre with a little bit of reddish okay maybe the scratching sound is a little bit too much for some of you <laughs> but I actually don't mind Which finger I should grab a baby wipe and then uh, clean off my fingers as I go? Mm, not fun about the way it scratched the paper up here. Okay, moving down to this cheek area here. I need to get in some of the reddish tones. You want some of the warm tones it's called. Oof. Can you see how the paper is uh, making it splotchy? Maybe it's actually working to my advantage because his skin tone is rather splotchy. And splotchy is the wrong word to use. It's not like super smooth. <laughs> so maybe I'm kind of lucky. And my uh, contour crayons ain't going down smooth either. Not that it like matters. It's it's not like you know it have to look <laughs> exactly like uh, the reference photo, but it would be nice if it did. So I am actually aiming for a look alike in the finished. Um, painting now I'm in doubt whether it's a painting I would more say that it's like a drawing What do we decide on the eyes? Okay, first of all, I just need to... Uh, I can always push it back or remove it, but I need to see how will, will it look with completely dark eyes, even though I'm against it, you know? <clears throat> yeah, it's looking really hard. Funny enough, there's not like blue tones in his uh, in the white in the eyes. It's more like a grayish tone. So I'm gonna put in. That was like really too much. I need to push that back somehow. But I think instead of pushing it back with my fingers, I'm going to go on top of it with a white.
Okay, his eyelids. I actually see some flesh tone in this uh, light color here and here. Yeah, I should uh, totally switch to that cotillion now because uh, no, <laughs> it's getting too too fat to uh, do intricate work like this. Okay, you see me blow the page. Don't do that if you are doing this at home because you're just gonna blow the dust particles on your work surface and then eventually inhale it I don't know what <laughs> so um don't do like I do okay I am grabbing the cotillion now I need to somehow get in the the eyes before it can continue. I kind of feel that I need to Det kan jeg gøre. Hmm? Oh man. Hoppy just asked if I could eat a little pizza. Are you kidding me? He's gonna make dinner? <laughs> Who can say no to that? Right? Okay, let me blow this. Uh, not blow, but... Get rid of some of this dust here. Oh gosh, it is so difficult to be like precise with those uh, contour crayon sticks. But I think I'm just gonna go in with the um, oil-based color pencil for the eyes because I'm gonna mess it up using that stick. And oh, by the way, I haven't even tested if the pencil will draw on top of the contour crayon. I think I need to be very meticulous with the the paper that's still kind of untouched if I want to use a colored pencil. I can feel that the colored pencil is not game on with this uh, <laughs> pastel. Then I still need that oomph that this stick can give for the lower lashes here. <clears throat> I got different, uh, I mean, this eye is smaller than this one. Can you see that? Let's see if I somehow can correct it. Not sure if I can. 
without disturbing the yeah I'm just gonna live with it but they're not like uh, the same height okay I haven't yet blocked in totally the the darkness in his eyes I actually think that I'm not gonna make them like 100% dark I just really like when you can see some light reflection. So I think instead of giving him like um, a total big white reflection in the in the eye you know as we usually do I'm gonna leave it like this so far because then I, I still have uh, some sort of <laughs> like uh, like light captured in the eyes um, his eyebrows maybe I should work on those right now to get those in because the likeness will be more visual when as, as many features as I can block in. Oh, it is so nice to make some really fat eyebrows. I mean, I'm <laughs> used to those uh, slim eyebrows when painting girls, you know. So, uh, finally, one of the good things about painting male faces is, first of all, the different bone structure. It's fun to work with something else for a change. Instead of all those pretty, pretty girls, girl faces. And the eyebrows. They're like, not these skinny brows. So that was, that was nice to block those in. Um, <laughs> I should wet this. Okay, let me wash my hands and then go with this, uh, the lip, the under lip. Okay, I got watercolor down here, so I'm going to start with the red area first to see if I gave it enough color. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. <laughs> Let's try the other lip here. Okay, now it's dissolved. Of course, um, it needs to dry before I can continue. So, <laughs> let's go back to the eye area. This is where I need to get a lot darker. Even though it is totally out of my comfort zone, I am actually grabbing the black. It's the first time that I've ever gone so dark, but I'm actually enjoying the, the process. I can really tell that it's something different than what I'm used to, to color. So um, it's so not going to be the last time that I try to to work with this skin tone. I'm almost holding my breath. <laughs> I 
Okay, lucky me, and the reason why I wanted to stream, first of all, to stay awake, right? <laughs> because I'm really tired today. And second of all, sometimes when you are recording yourself, you have the advantage of, can look up in a camera and see the values with different fresh eyes. Just the same as if you take your drawing to the bathroom mirror and look at it with different eyes. So uh, that's actually one of the reasons why I turned on the camera. So let me just plug this in and then be ready to see it on the, sc on the screen. Ooh, I went too too far with this one. Clean finger. Okay, let's see it so far. Not bad, right? Not bad. Even though I, I don't think it's a... Uh... Hmm. <laughs> okay, I just need to continue. I'm simply wondering whether I'm going too wrong with this uh, dark value. Time will tell. <clears throat> I need to somehow... How do I get past those eyes? This area here. Maybe going with the... What's the darkest stick that I got? In the brown area. I thought that I had a darker one than this one, didn't I? Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Let me try with this one. <laughs> it kind of helps having that um, very light underpainting. Even though it may seem like a waste of time, you know, because you're coming in with um, such a dark value on top of it, but I don't know, maybe you can sense how insecure I am with blocking in the dark value. So it kind of helps me having the, first of all, the, the whole face blocked in in one tone <laughs> and then um, just uh, building it up is the work that I'm looking for. It is very satisfying <clears throat> to work with the pastels. Oh, I should do like pan pastel. Next time I'm gonna try a dark skin tone. I think I will go pan pastel. Because uh, then I won't have these messy fingers. <laughs> oh man. But at least I haven't scratched myself in the face yet. <laughs> Only when I use like pastel sticks. I don't know why, but there's always something that's uh, itching in my face and then I scratch and I end up with this uh, coloring. Okay, I can actually see a grayish skin tone right here at the eye. That's too dark. Uh, this one? Yes. I can actually see a grayish tone here. And it's going up towards the temp templates temples. Oh man. Can you see what I'm doing? <laughs> I just blocked in some uh, gray right here 
because I, I actually can see it's grayish. Which is surprising, right? I mean, I'm not used to grabbing for these colors when I'm making Caucasian skin tone. So it is super interesting. I mean, only a nerd <laughs> will get a kick out of out of this experience. So, sorry if I sound like really nerdish. Because I got so much pigment down I feel that I am burnishing, burnishing with this uh, gray tone here, and so far it feels right. It doesn't feel like I'm too off. But yeah, for me making portraits, it's all about just looking at sections and then trying to uh, plug in the color that I see. And sometimes it feels like I'm off, you know, like really, like do you really need that color for this? But if you just trust what you see, instead of what you think you need to put in and sometimes it's more correct just like I see a, a dark gray wet eye area instead of a generic white line like that the nose is very bright. <laughs> it's too bright compared to the reference photo. I think I need to put in um, at least some sort of color right here. And then did I get that spot right? No, this right there is not what we want. Something like this, right? And then... This nostril is uh, hanging, you know. <laughs> it's not quite the way it should be. Cotillion to the rescue. Can you see how it's too, um, it's curved differently than the other? So instead of erasing, I'm trying to scratch off the graphite. Is it called graphite? More like a pastel, right? I'm trying to scratch off the pastel coming in with some bright and maybe fix it like that okay the lips are actually dry but before doing those I think I would just plug in the ears I see red tones on the ear And then I see actually some dark grayish kind of first dark here. And 
and then I see that it's scraped down like this and then that's one ear the other ear is barely showing but it's still got very close to the template this reddish area and then dark gray with a hint of little tone of black here oh man that was like the easiest ear ever ever <laughs> because it was so small okay that's this that ear okay now the lips i think i'm gonna have trouble with the lips i got a purple undertone i would like to preserve it but i also have to go like really dark on it so um yeah, I think first I should um, in window <laughs> it feels wrong I should plug it in with a very light coat of the dark if I'm lucky I can uh, still preserve some hint of the purple I feel I'm a little bit off with his cubic bows. Because they're very like uh, perfect, you know, like like they are marked out. Completely perfect. Symmetric also. Lucky me, I didn't uh, color in the the sweater right. Otherwise, my hand would be on it constantly. It could actually be more red. Like this, uh, this could be more red. I grabbed a new color. And then it's going like um, like burgundy. So I'm gonna take the blue color Let me try this first. I can always redo it. You know, I can wet it out so that the, I can start all over if I don't like this, what I'm doing right now. Oof. <laughs> I should work with the cotillion here. Because uh, it's out of control. Okay, let's let's start all over with the shape of the lips. <laughs> I lost some line work here. Oh man, I knew it that this was gonna cause me issues I 
got some really light areas that I don't want to lose around the lips. So uh, I need to go back and forth with the dark and the bright. <laughs> it's so wonky. Okay, let's for fun just get some... Uh, wrinkles in on the lips here see if that helps me sculpture them okay and then It's like this curve here because it's it's wonky <laughs> I'm not sure that I'm bothering correcting it because uh, it would make a mess if I had to go in and correct that so instead let me just uh, move my focus from the lips a little bit and work up here maybe I can do some magic with the the dark color here to remove the focus from the wonky wonky lips how about this that's a little bit better right now it's very bright up here so like this yeah as good as it gets so far I like that you can still see the purple undertone from the from the lips because that's what I read from this so um, now I just need to darken it up even further Yeah, looking a little bit strange. But then again, <laughs> it's all about focus, you know. As soon as you stop looking at it and move to the next area, then the, um, things might not be as bad. I want more or less a straight line here. He's, he's got like a really neat haircut. I mean, it's just done with perfection. I have never ever drawn uh, this um, kind of hair before. So I don't really know how to attack it. So I'm just going to put in the impression that I get, which is uh, this uh, these swirl motions. And then I'm going to try and merge them in. By simply just dapping on it. On my other drawing, my first, you know, the one that I did with the paint along with Lindsay, I was using new colors, but this is pastel, so uh, it's kind of different <laughs> in a way.
Oh, I love this. I love that you can still see the greenish undertones that I uh, uh, underpainting and the grayish over here. So it's kind of just uh, melting into to the head like like he have it here. Okay, I need to wash my hands. <laughs> Before I continue, I need to uh, get some color into the background so that I better, better can see uh, where to place highlights because right now the highlights are disappearing with the white background. So I have chosen this sea green color. And then because this is just like a massive, <laughs> uh, just a black area, his sweater, I just want to use acrylic paint to get that black in because then I can have a, a place to rest my hand where I don't I'm afraid to smear it out so I'll just do that off screen to make the recording time less <laughs> yep so I chose this um, metallic sea green and I love it it goes well with that greenish undertone I see in, in the skin so Oh, I love it. And then I took uh, some navy blue on the edges and then black. So I still get some sort of uh, texture on the on the sweater, even though it's like a, a black, black sweater. So, oh, I like it a lot. Yeah, I think he's there. I know I could have gone like darker, you know, but I think that if I did that, it would just look like he's having a mask on. <laughs> So I, I kind of just like, you know, I think he's there. He's definitely there. Um, I could also have gone a little bit darker on the lips, but then I'm, you know, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to paint more um, of this uh, darker skin tone because it definitely is a, a learning curve still, but I, I I was kind of surprised that I was able to pull it off. <laughs> so I guess uh, I don't know why I, I thought it was so difficult. I'm just glad that I finally took myself together and uh, had the guts to, to try it. I like it a lot. Hmm? <laughs> so, thanks for watching. This was a long one, yes. But you know, it takes time to. Uh, do a portrait so <laughs> I'm gonna link Lindsay the frugal crafters uh, stream on the description so you kind of know where I got the whole um, inspiration from yeah thanks for watching bye